PMMA, or polymethyl methacrylate, is a resin which is mixed with a catalyst and applied over a polyester fleece to form a weatherproof layer. PMMAs in liquid waterproofing can be used on balconies, road markings, tanking in basements, car parks, and on both domestic and commercial roofing. PMMA systems are extremely hard-wearing, fast-curing, and can be applied between minus 5 and plus 40 degrees centigrade. Although there are many advantages to using liquid waterproofing, it's important to be aware of the differences in application on site. These include the application temperature, which may affect curing rates, so refer to manufacturer guidelines. The amount of substrate preparation to guarantee a full bond, with a primer possibly being needed. The requirements to complete a cosh assessment, such as PPE, handling requirements and unfamiliar smells, which should be checked by referring to the manufacturer's material safety data sheet. And the disposal of used packaging, with manufacturers consulted for their recommendations on recycling and disposal. In terms of PPE, you need to wear gloves, safety glasses and all other safety equipment relevant to the site where you're working. The sample panel shown is split into four specific sections, which include plywood, insulation and roofing felt. As with all liquid systems, apply the details first. Mix the primer and apply this over the lap on the existing felt along its length and also to the plywood surface. The aluminium coating on the insulation and the main area of felt don't need priming. Apply primer at a rate of 0.4 kg per meter squared with a brush or roller across the whole surface. Make sure you apply it slightly above the level of the finished roof so you can check that the primer is applied once the roof is complete. But don't apply it too thickly or it may crack when dry. To ensure you create a clean sharp border, fix masking tape above a rebate or on a flat section to create a neat finish. To prevent leakage on joints at internal and external corners, seal them using preformed sections of 110 gram fleece. To form an internal corner, cut a circular section to allow it to fit the corner, or use preformed corners if they're available. Mix a small batch of base coat and apply it to all the details and penetrations. On awkward details such as steel work, ensure the steel is coated to 150mm above the roof and also 100mm around the base of the steel work. On pipe work use a similar detail but add in fleece which is cut to provide full reinforcement at the joint. On internal and external corners, apply fleece to the upstand 150mm high and with a 100mm lap. With a PMMA, you need to apply two-thirds of the liquid to the surface. Place the fleece into it and then apply the remainder of the liquid on top. Complete the remaining details around the internal and external corners, dressing the fleece into the chase. Once cured, seal with an appropriate sealant. On the main roof, the metre-wide sections of fleece should be cut to length and applied tight to the upstand with a 50mm lap. To do this, mix a larger quantity of PMMA, but mix it slowly to avoid putting air into it. The PMMA will start to set quickly, so you need to work efficiently. No further coats are required unless you wish to apply markings to the roof.